Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show, we're taking a look at a movie haul. Uh, these weren't all gathered, bought at the same time as Overtime, uh, and I'm just getting around to doing this haul because I wanted to wait until I made up, until I bought enough movies to film the haul. So first things first... We have Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Let's go ahead and raise that up a bit. There we go. Uh, I really like the movie. Um, good movie. Fits in well with the uh, Jurassic World uh, fran uh, film. And it, it fits in well with the Jurassic Park movies as well. Very nice. Um brings both worlds together uh nicely uh with the introduction of was Ian Malcolm from J the Jurassic Park movies Jeff Goldblum's character uh small part in it but a decent part nonetheless uh my son watched this he's about seven he just turned 7 years old he loves dinosaur movies and <laughs> Towards the end, uh, one of the dinosaurs was dying or got attacked or whatever. Sorry about that, guys. I got a phone call. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, towards the end, when one of the dinosaurs was killed or dying, um, actually, I think it was during the uh, volcano eruption scene, uh, it, it brought him to tears. You know, he's a very emotional little dude. Um, so... He liked the movie up until that part, and then he just started bawling for the, uh, crying for the dinosaurs. Um, we have Ash vs. the Evil Dead, complete third season. I really like the Ash vs. the Evil Dead series. Uh, the final episode of the third season, uh, at least the last scene, was very, um... It was reminiscent of uh, Evil or yeah, Evil Dead, but at the same time, I didn't care for that last scene. I really wish they would continue the story. I can understand why they didn't. It is what it is. Great series. I really loved it. I got the other two on digital. Um, the other two seasons on digital. So, if you get a chance, if you haven't seen the series yet, I highly recommend it. That brings us to Spider-Man Homecoming. I uh, watched this when it came out at the theater uh, for my oldest daughter's birthday. Uh, really enjoyed it. Is is a decent, is a really good Spider-Man movie. Um, yeah, I've, I've watched it a couple times. Spider-Man's my daughter's favorite movie. Uh, Hero, so then we've got Deadpool 2 again. Watch this at the theater shortly after it came out. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I did not, spoiler warning, uh, I did not like how they really prom pushed the X Force aspect of the movie when X Force pretty much died almost immediately during the uh, airplane, the skydiving scene. Um, found it at Walmart during Black Friday sales. Uh, very cheap. Uh, along with it, I found Predator. Another really great movie. Um, I've probably seen Predator 2 more than I've seen the original Predator. Um, uh, still good nonetheless. Also got X-Men, Days of Future Plat past um this one i haven't seen that often uh i own the other movies all except for x-men apocalypse on dvd uh and blu-ray uh x-men apocalypse i own on digital only on voodoo uh and i needed to complete the set so i went ahead and got days of future past uh we also got assassin's creed 
it was on sale for like two dollars i couldn't pass it up being a an assassin's creed fan it wasn't that great of a movie but it was okay uh we've also got straight out of compton really good movie i always like to see those uh behind the music type movies uh the story of bands uh artists and even fictional like rockstar um we've got logan which if most if you guys have seen my logan review i wasn't very impressed with thought i'd go ahead and buy this give it another try i have not gotten up the guts to watch it again yet i do plan on watching it again uh soon though um maybe do another review on it if if my thoughts have changed on the movie at all. Uh, we've also got Carrie. The new Carrie. Newer. Uh, with Chloe Grace Moretz. Uh, I really like this version. I really like Chloe Grace. Um, she, she's a great actress. Uh, I was introduced to her back in. During Kick-Ass. And seen many of her movies ever since i really like it really like her as an actress very great young actress i hope we see a lot of her in the future um i know many actresses uh start off real big at first and then they kind of dwindle down and you don't really see them very much or hear from them very often i hope this is one actress that keeps going uh, we have Arrival. Um, it really presents itself as a Zack Snyder film, even though it's not. Uh, just the... The um, colors are very muted, like most Zack Snyder films. Uh, it, it could be mistaken for a Zack Snyder film. Uh, the ending is a little weird, though. Uh, the movie did hold my interest. I'll probably watch it again. Uh, but the ending was a little odd. So I'll leave it at that. Finally, we have two DVD collections that I'll show you simultaneously. We have Season 1 of Kung Fu The Legend Continues and Season 2 of Kung Fu The Legend Continues. Uh, this is a TV series I really enjoyed as a kid, uh, all the way up through my 20s when it was on TNT. Um, I did not realize that the first episode uh, showed quite a bit of nudity in it, uh, because I was so used to seeing it on TNT and Fox when it first aired. Uh, they didn't show the nudity, and uh, apparently the channel it was originally aired on, um, it didn't mind showing the nudity, and I wasn't aware of that, and <laughs> my kids were in the room when I was watching it, I had to quickly shoo them out of the room <laughs> when those scenes came on, um, it kind of holds up over time, kind of not. The slow motion sequences uh, get a little bit annoying, but it's still good nonetheless. Uh, I had to pick these up. I can't. I I hope sometime soon they release the third and final season on DVD. So there you have it, guys. My DVD and Blu-ray collection for this week. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button. Uh, also make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on a single video. I'm Shannon for Comic Ed and TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, make sure you check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Comic Getting TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.